How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this episode we're going to review this oil-free air compressor which was sent to me by Weaver for free for my review and testing. Let's take a closer look. I just want to point out that this is 24 liter tank, 3400 RPM and it is indeed oil-free. Let's go ahead, take it out of the box, assemble it and get to some testing. And there it is. It's kind of looking cool. Most of it already was hooked up to it. I only needed to install the wheels, handle and this rubber foot to kill vibration on it. And couple filters to prevent all the crap getting into our compressor. Okay, I'm all excited. Let's fire it up. So it stopped on 100 psi or 7 bars. So to go from 0 to 100 psi it only took this compressor 1 minute 14 seconds. This is not too bad, 74 seconds. Let's see what else this compressor has. This is your pressure regulator. So I can put less pressure for the tools I'm going to use or crank it back up to max. This is your quick connect. I don't know exactly what you can hook up to this one, but it looks like half inch tread and it has a valve and you can drain all the pressure from it. 24 liters is 6.3 gallons and flow rate 335 cubic feet per minute at 90 psi. I got a few tools that I'm planning to test with this air compressor and we're gonna start just with simple air gun. It's kind of sad that this compressor doesn't come with its own air hose. I had to purchase it separately, but it is a good deal, guys. You can get it in Canada for only 265 bucks. <laughs> okay, let's try to blow some dust, shall we? Start with our table saw. And miter saw. And last but not least, metal shavings on the drill press. Let's figure out at what pressure compressor starts to pump in air again. So it wasn't even 5 psi and compressor kicks back again. I guess that's how it should be. Another thing we didn't talk about is this safety valve. You can also drain it by pulling it. Right on. Let's keep running our tests. And next tool gonna be bread nailer. We are going to check one inch breads, inch and a half and two inch. Like nothing. Very good. I'm impressed actually. Especially on pa 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 mode. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I say we skip inch and a half and go to two inch. Let's drive a few nails and see if it's gonna punch it right through. Baby. Look at this mess. You guys love those tiny feet? Isn't it adorable? But let me tell you, two inch nails is no problem for this compressor and nail gun. Let's try to get some slow-mo. Huh? That wasn't too bad, was it? But I have a better idea in mind. Let's see if we can punch through this one inch piece of oak. Wow. No problemos. That's pretty impressive. Oak is quite hard wood. 
I say it pass this test. Let's carry on. All right, guys. So the next tool in my arsenal is this air sander. Currently we got six inch disc on it. And again, for the test, we have a piece of oak. Let's see if we can smooth it up using this six inch air sander. So I guess it kind of works, but compressor definitely can't keep up with the sander. I can feel that after about a minute of usage, most of the air drains and there is no torque in the sander. So this tool is going to be a little too strong for this little compressor. I am gonna put camera on a gauge and keep sanding so you guys can see that this compressor can't simply keep up with the sander. It also becomes very hot to touch. It does kind of work, don't get me wrong. It leaves smooth finish, but you would have to take breaks to finish sanding this little board. I'm not talking about any larger jobs like a table for instance, right? Should we get a slow-mo shot of the sander? I think so. Okay guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed some testing that I did and review of this compressor. What can I say in the conclusion? This compressor is strong enough to run some smaller tools like this uh, bread nailer and I'm sure it's gonna be strong enough to do framing nailer as well. Air gun, always handy in the shop and to pump your tire when it's low. But when it comes to sanding, I don't know, that's when it kinda lost the challenge. Unfortunately, I don't have any spray paint gun. But I think this compressor would be capable of uh, painting some smaller jobs. There's obviously bigger and better compressors, but again, if you don't have a bunch of money to spend, take a look at this one. If you don't like it, you can return it hassle-free. No obligation, of course, but for those who are interested, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below where you can find this compressor, free shipping and also 5% additional discount. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in next one. Bye now!